Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Day. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. So we are headed for, we got our lunches packed, all the snacks packed. We're headed for day two of being in nature Hi, near King. the Grand Canyon. So Zay is our tour guide and we would take you guys along with us. Let's see what we can see today. We are headed into Utah and we are stopping for family pictures. But look at all the beauty around us. So dad, whenever we pass the sign, that's me and we're in Utah. Utah. And that is Arizona. Alright, we headed on our next adventure. Let's see. Where Zay is gonna take us. We're going on adventure, Judah? Hey, Judah. Yeah, you should have Judah, get in your pouch. Get inside. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. You ready? That was going to be the push. Let's go right or let's go left? You going right? Let's see what beauty we get out of today. Shema Israel, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echa. Hey family, so we are headed to something totally beautiful but you gotta get there just reminds me of any journey takes some work to get to the beauty of it all right but i want to mention first of all look how beautiful that tree is and look how beautiful all the beauty around me absolutely gorgeous but the smell of fresh pine all throughout this and hike is absolutely refreshing even though the sun is beaming on us we are getting gushes of wind the sun is beautiful um but it smells amazing and even though i'm trying to get to hold on i'm doing video <laughs> no you stay right there i'm coming even though i'm trying to get to the beautiful place i also have to enjoy the journey if i ever get there it makes getting to that place much better. All right, they're ready for their picture. So let me take that picture real quick. Deuces. See, I hear they can laugh, run, play, hit, whatever. All right. All right, it doesn't. Where are you? On oh my hat. You hate hiking? Let's go, show them what you see. You better do it there, you are.
Ayan. Noah, with your staff. Jay, cut it out. When they ask you whose you are, you say, I am a child of the Most High Yahuwah who created this, that. Can't you tell by the color of my skin where I come from? Hallelujah. Uh-uh, just don't eat it. Just don't eat it. Uh. So we are taking a break. Oh, shoot. Well, this is your cool enough, girl. And they are finding all of the writings on the walls from the Indians. We're just sitting down taking a break, enjoying. All the things. All the things. Uh, what you doing? You coming? Uh, 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 okay. Uh, uh. Now we gotta try to make it before the storm and that's about a mile. All right, let's see what we can do. At this point, everyone must just keep going forward and trying to beat the storm that's coming. So, and we still have a mile to go. So, mom and dad is there in the back. Being that I'm a little more ahead, I'm gonna keep. What? I'm, I'm fine. I think you got caught. <laughs> Watch the baby here. There you go. All right, you can do it. Woo! That thing pulled me down. There's a thunder, Ooh. roaring, no lightning, lightning. The kids think this is, who am I to breath, y'all? The kids think this is absolutely fun. They're saying the pack stays together. <laughs> I love this for them. But y'all ain't trying to get stuck in no, in no storm. But I'll praise the most how we made it out of, of the small part that's skinny. I don't know what it's called. I know it got a name. Whew. I'll be back, y'all. So it is starting to drizzle. The wind is picking up. Woo! Adventure, they say. But guess what? The most I know we down here. He know we still got what? Probably half a mile to go? Maybe more than that, huh? Trying to go as fast as we can. It's like an obstacle course. Alright, here comes the rain, guys. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's go. Nose dripping. Okay, there's a little lightning. Let me put something up. Bye, y'all. What? Put her flaps down. The only thing we can do is keep going. There's nowhere else to go. Hilling on us. Well, guess what? Y'all know we down here. And if it ain't a test, it's conditioning. It's strengthening. <sighs> and the thing is, there's other Work people feel better. Oh, this hurts. Oh, shoot. It hit on my scalp. Oh, this. This ice hurts. So let's go. All right. One, two, three, four. What? 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Everybody under? Get up under it, guys. Shoot. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tighten it up. We're gonna make it, y'all. We're gonna make it. We got caught in the rain, y'all. All that water, guys, is headed to where we were. So we're gonna have to drive fast. Go, 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 go. So that lady is the ram in the bush the most has sent to help us. He, they, she picked us up, and we hope she makes it out. I am happy to say that we did make it out safely. The road up ahead washed away, and it took about 15 people to use the rocks to build the road back. But Yahoo, I still made a way, and we made it out. We is adventured out for today. It is so good. I'm so happy that thing had a canopy on it. It kept her covered, so she's great. The only way we could have gotten out. She is a mess. Enjoy the following photos as I give a little more insight of what we learned about this testimony. First, I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahuwah for bringing us through because any testimony or trial can always end differently, but we are here to tell you about it on the other side. There were two things that we noticed about this adventure. The first thing is our bug out bags are not ready for whatever may come our way. So there will be a total revamping of our bug out bags because we did not have what we needed in order, in order to survive if we had further to walk. The next thing I want to point out and is a definitely a learning experience for everyone and that is what exactly are we doing on the Shabbat when we go back and read about what we're supposed to do on the Shabbat it is rest and refresh in the name of Yahuwah so was this hike a little intense it was way too in intense to do on the Shabbat but from now on we will be checking the weather and we will be keeping any extra activities extremely light and restful and to next time guys no more hiking on the Shabbat for us. Thank you again for watching another Butler's Unbox video. Shalom.